Welcome to Boxing Bookie one more time. A shout out for my boy Gator McCluskey who did that intro. Love the intro. Uh, you can check him out at Gator Sports on YouTube. Um, great guy. Made that intro for me. Also, uh, all right, let's get into today's show. I uh, got a good one for you today on, on Saturday, the zone card. Uh, Sky Nicholson, who I think is overrated against Sarah Mahfoud. Uh, it's a decent fight. Nice little scrap. We're going to get into it. Before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, there's always a bull market somewhere. Uh, we're going to show you how to make money. We're going to show you how to consistently bring down the house, making money betting on the sport of boxing. I don't gamble, but if you do, we always use DraftKings. Um, losing my brain here. Um, so we can't even use DraftKings in Texas, but if you do bet, Use DraftKings. Um, gives good odds. User friendly. I like it. Also, join the Patreon. The link is in the description. You can also find it there below. Uh, the, the Patreon is just five dollars a month. It gets you all the perks. Gets you the lock of the week. Gets you a free T-shirt. You can ask the bookie anything. We're going to start a Discord. I do believe we are definitely going to start a Discord uh, so that we can get involved and interact personally. Uh, you know, during fights and whatnot. Uh, but get lock of the week. It's just five dollars a month. It makes your money. It doesn't cost money. Uh, lock of the week locks it up every week. We'll have that out probably tomorrow as well. Um, so also join our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Sky Nicholson, a southpaw, long, rangy. She's a mover. Good ring generalship. Good. Good feet, good movement. She's a mover. She's going to use the ring. She's going to turn you and turn you and turn you. Uh, you know, not much on her shots. I don't like how she throws her shots. She's selective with them, too. She selects her shots. She's not high volume. She doesn't throw a whole lot. I think she's got poor hand speed. I, I really, I'm, I'm not a fan of her offensively at all. A lot of one shot at a time. A lot of one shot at a time. Like I said, I think she's slow. She just has good feet. Like, that's really all I see in her. She throws wide, long shots, counter shots, lead shots. I don't think she jabs enough. She just... Not a whole lot on them. But, you know, she's got the quick feet, slow hand combo. She's got a good counter left. She does good work with the counter left. I just don't like how she throws it. She's able to score. She's able to land it. I, I can see it coming. I think she shows her shots a little bit too much. She works her angles. You know, everything she's, she's got, every all the fights she's won, she's not at all uh, gone because of her angles and her footwork. And she's got excellent feet, and, and she knows how to move you defensively, right? She knows how to put you in the positions that she wants to put you in. She doesn't throw a lot. She doesn't have a lot of snap on her, on her power. Like I said, she pushes her shots. I really don't like the way she throws her punches. Uh, I'm not high on Sky Nicholson. She's a monster favorite in this fight, which I don't fully understand. Um, let's get into Sarah Mahfoud. Also, more of a defensive fighter, more of a cautious uh, defense first, safety first technician. Pretty quick and athletic. This fight has the makings of being a stinker. I'm just letting you know. It's, I, I think it's a close fight. I think it's competitive, but it might be a low action, low entertaining fight that's competitive throughout and, and close. She's got a nice little sappy jab. She's a mover. She moves well. She uses the ring. You get two guys, two girls, using the ring here. Neither one throws a lot. Neither one has much pop. She can make you miss well. They're both, both fighters are pretty good defensive fighters who don't throw a lot and aren't hyper aggressive. They're pretty unaggressive. They're pretty defensive minded. Both fighters are pretty good defensively. I, I think straight up, I, I, I do think Mafad, Mafud has better skills. I, I think she's more fundamentally sound is what I'm trying to say. She throws a crisp, clean one-two, uh, but she's pretty basic. There's no next level. There's no next gear. So there's nothing she does great. Like Nicholson's got great feet. And I think that could ultimately be the difference. You know, neither fighter's got much pop. Neither fighter's ultra, ultra fast hand speed. Neither guy, neither girl throws in much volume. Not not much combination punching from either fighter. 
the lack of volume from both fighters could make this thing hard to watch. It could make it difficult to score. It could like, what are we choosing from here? And this is this is <coughs> why I don't love this fight. You know, I really I'm not a huge fan. She's got pretty good head movement. She's not easy to hit. She's not a straight in target. Both fighters not throwing a lot. Both fighters not being overly accurate. Both fighters not throwing real good shots besides the one-two from Mafad makes this thing interesting in a very boring type of way. This could be an intriguing fight. It could be a, a fun fight. I mean, it could be a boring fight. It might be a no fun type of fight. She also lunges in. And this is going to be the downfall. Mafad lunges in and... uh. I said left hook, obviously south hook. I count a right hook from Nicholson could be a problem. Like she could land that, and I, it's not they're not going to have a ton of snap by. But when when you see my food le- uh, lunge in, it, she could be right in line to eat a right hook. And I think that could be the story of the fight. I think there's going to be a lot of quiet rounds. It's going to be a lot of rounds where not much happens. So let's take a look at the odds, and let's see how we're fit to make money on this fight. Sky Nicholson is a minus 1100. I'm not touching that. Uh, over eight and a half is minus 3000. It's going to go over eight and a half. Again, it's just not enough volume. There's not enough power for this thing to not go the distance. Really, the only bet that I like here on a $300 bet um, is, uh, you know, I love the over. It's obviously going over. That's a gimme, but you can see you're paying for that. Uh, so you take the 666 there. Also, put the uh, money on Sky Nicholson. To win a decision or technical decision minus 100. Um, I, I think that's fairly easy, fairly obvious. I don't love this fight from a betting perspective. Minus 650 for Sky Nicholson uh, to take that decision. I'm not touching the minus 1100. Sky Mafood's minus 650, a uh, plus 650. So this is just, you know, it, it, it is what it is. It is not great odds. On this, Sarah Mafood is plus 650. She's got a chance to win this fight, but is it really worth the bet? It's a long shot. It does pay. I think Sky Nicholson is, is far too much of a favorite here. This is a closer fight than what the odds are leading on here. So I'm going to take uh, Sky Nicholson by decision, minus 650, and eight and a half total rounds. I'm going to go uh, over eight and a half total rounds. So I'm going to do a two times bet on that. That's an easy hit. Sky Nicholson minus 650. He's going to make me $15. So we're going to make 22 bucks on this fight. The odds are terrible, guys. I don't know what to tell you. Um, it's just not great odds on this fight. But this is, you know, we can always make money, lock in the profit, make the money. Maybe we could add this to tomorrow's uh, lock of the week. You have to check out, you have to join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Find the Patreon, get the, get the lock of the week. Uh, not sure if this is going to be involved in it, but it may or may not be. Um, also, let me pull this up again. Uh, link is in the description. Please join the Patreon. It's five dollars a month. Get you all the perks. Lock of the week. Ask the book anything. I can hit a cap. And he might be there's a free T-shirt involved, which everyone likes. Also, uh, uh, yep. Yeah. All right. Um, it is April 3rd, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3 Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.